going on, Todd Child, with another episode of the Sawdust Dude. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Hey, today we're talking about dust collection. And one of the things that, especially in the my micro shop here, or any shop, you really want to watch dust uh, collecting in your shop and also collecting in your lungs. I love sawdust, but I don't like it in my body, okay? So one of the things that you really, is kind of must, that you must have to control dust is obviously a, a vacuum system. This is a, a Grizzly. Uh, this is something that I picked up years ago. And you know, the dust comes in through here and the particles and it comes through this little fan system. It's got an impeller in it. And then it, dust comes through in here and you can kind of see this bag's real full. So one of the problems, especially if you're doing a lot of planing, uh, that all the wood chips go inside that bag and that bag fills up rather quickly. So what you really need to get is like a separation system. And from uh, Peachtree Woodworking Supply, I've got this four inch uh, separator cyclone system that kind of looks like this when you get it all done. Like here's an example of their planer. The big wood chips go inside the barrel and the dust goes inside the dust collector. So, but you know me in my shop, it's got to have a little man cave, a little uh, gas and oil vibe too. And instead of buying one of those uh, cardboard feeling drums and a, a small shop, I didn't need a 55 gallon drum. Uh, I need something smaller that's manageable for the micro shop. Hey, so I was out checking out an antique store and look what I found. Oh yeah, brother. <laughs> That's gonna be cool, okay? So it works out well, you know, I can bend these tabs. Once these tabs probably will break, you know, I can put a little locking system up here and uh, a little clamp, you know, with a little, uh, so it'll clamp down that lid. So I'll be able to solve that problem down the road. So kind of thinking that through, you know, for 80 bucks, I got that uh, mobile synthetic lubrication barrel. So. It's the right size, it's got the right look for my shop because it's got all about the vibe, you know. It's got to be looking good, looking cool, feeling good. Yeah, brother! <laughs> so, we're going to work on today how to install this 4-inch separator cyclone on this mobile barrel. Stay tuned. Okay, first thing we need to do for our dust separator cyclone kit is, is drill a hole in the top of the lid. And I've already got one done. This is what the finished product kind of looks like. Now I need to drill the, the other hole over here. There is some things to kind of take in consideration and uh, on this and even this uh, barrel here, you know, one of the things that you're gonna have to do is how do you drill a four inch hole? And we'll talk about that in just a second. But first thing I wanna do is, first thing I wanna do is just kind of take my, my flange here and uh, I'm just gonna sit it here. Now I'm gonna mark, for the holes uh, that are pre-drilled in this in this flange and this is the uh i'm just gonna mark the four spots where the mounting bolts go just like that there's a little dent in the can there so I want those four spots there because I kind of need to find the center. And I'll just take my uh, my straight edge here and do a little mark in the middle and then a little mark here. And that lets me know where my center mark is. Now I have to drill a four inch hole. Now you kind of can take a compass and, and, and mark out, you know, set your compass at two inches and then that'll make a, a four inch diameter. Uh, you can do that. <clears throat> But I happen to have uh, this little uh, hole saw kit here. And so I've got a, a four inch hole saw. Now this is uh, kind of made for, uh, for wood and it'll, it'll go through concrete. But this metal is so thin that it'll work on this as well. So just kind of got to go slow and take your time.
One of the things you want to do when you're cutting a hole like that, you just don't want to put a lot of pressure on it, but also rock the saw because I'm not holding it perfectly uh, straight up and down. So one side may cut through first. And so you just kind of rock your saw over or rock your drill over so it starts cutting on the other side. But you can see I got a real nice clean hole there. Four inch hole. Perfect. All right, so I got my two holes drilled in the top of my lid. Now, I know that really this is set up for like a 55 gallon drum or a 40 gallon drum, whatever size, like a larger size than, I don't even know how many gallons this is. <laughs> it's all about the look. But I know that this peach tree uh, uh, dust cyclone system is really set up for a larger drum. Uh, but for me in my particular situation in the micro shop, I, I don't use my dust collector like every day, maybe once a week. And so, you know, I can run months before I fill that big bag up. And especially with winter coming on, this is a good way to start for, uh, for running the wood stove. And so this smaller drum, it'll work for my situation. So I got the holes drilled in the top and things are looking real nicely. The, uh, the spider uh, hole saw kit, even though it's not made for metal, just go real slow, don't press real hard, kind of rocking back and forth, making sure you get your cut all the way around, that it's looking good. All right, so that was that. Now, I got to drill out for my four holes here in the top to mount my brackets. Now, I got thinking about this because in the, in the exit ports of this, they have to be facing a, a, a certain way so that it will create that vortex or that cyclone inside of your drum. And so it'll create that vortex or create the swirl, which will allow the larger uh, wood particles to fall or collect in the drum. And then the fine dust go all the way over to your filtration system. So let's do that. Okay. So this is the bottom, which goes in the barrel and this is the top. So my hose will connect to that. Now, the only problem is, is how do I get these holes all lined up with, with, uh, with each other? Now, you know, if you made a boo-boo and you drilled from the top, you know, it wouldn't be a big deal just to drill through this plastic. And so, you know, th that's one way to, to solve a problem. If you happen to do that, no big deal, no harm, no foul. I won't tell anybody. I'm not gonna tell you, mother-in-law, okay? I told you, I knew you shouldn't married him. He can't do anything right. <laughs> Anyway, what's she doing in your shop anyway? Get out of here. All right. So the easiest way to do it is to mount the bottom first. Okay. And so my ports just have to be facing in opposite directions. Okay. So just 180 degrees from each other. 180. So kind of like that if you want to look at it that way. All right. So I just need to mount them. So the good way to get my top bracket and my bottom bracket lined up is just to do the bottom bracket first. And so I just kind of line it up like that, making sure my holes are good. And so I get good flow. You gotta do your tongue like that, that helps out. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Now, I can spin it around a little bit. Bueno, that's it. Mark my holes, drill, drill my holes. Boom. A good deal. So uh, I got it mounted on there. The short screws worked out real well. I did use an impact driver. Don't over torque them down because you know th this is plastic. It just, it's plastic. Don't over torque it. Don't crack it. So take your time and do it right. But anyway, you can see the little cyclone port there. Got a nice clear view. You can see uh, here's the tag. They were asking $99 for this uh, drum. I uh, gave the guy 80 bucks cash and he took it. So I leave that sticker on there because it reminds me, yeah, I got a good deal. All right, so save some money, save 20 bucks. All right, so good deal. So I'm just gonna finish this up. We'll hook it up and watch it work.
here goes the maiden voyage. You know, I had some sawdust, <laughs> a lot of sawdust in my bandsaw, and uh, the thing just never has sucked really good. But <laughs> it's a great bandsaw. It doesn't suck. Uh, so I threw, threw down some wood blocks, and they made it through the system. Uh, before this um, cyclone system I would put through, those big blocks would go all the way through the vacuum system, and that impeller in there, I mean, it's like, it sounded like it was blowing apart, like the Titanic's going down or something. So I didn't hear it, and I heard those blocks. Now, here's the big test. Let's open it up and see if they're Let's down check there. check it out. Oh, look down there. Let me get a shot of light over here. Oh, yeah. There's my big blocks. That's what I was looking for. And the heavier sand. Sand. And so my lid, it, even though it's not really made for this, like it's a, more for a 55 gallon drum, but like I said in my micro shop, this little barrel works out great. So I can just pop this back on. Even popping this lid off, I, I'm thinking that I might put some handles on there just to make it easier to carry some uh, industrial metal looking handles or some antique handles I can find be pretty good or might even make something out of wood but so here anyway. it is the peach tree uh four inch dust separation dust cyclone two thumbs up there it is all right hey good deal thanks for watching the sawdust dude that's a cool deal i like my mobile oil can for 80 bucks works out really good kind of looks like a moonshine still or something like that but anyway <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, cool deal. Hey, check out the link below for a uh, peach tree uh, woodworking supply. This is just an endorsement. Um, it's not paid, so good stuff. It's here to help you out. I like my little uh, cyclone dust system. Works out real good. Cool deal. All right. Thanks for watching this all dust, dude. I'll see you real soon. Oh, yeah.